Walking with Sam, a father, a son, and 500 miles across Spain, is an intimate and evocative memoir by actor and travel writer Andrew McCarthy, centering around an ambitious journey he undertakes with his teenage son, Sam. The book chronicles their trek along the Camino de Santiago, a historic pilgrimage route that stretches across northern Spain and culminates at the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, where the remains of St. James the Great are said to be buried. The narrative begins with Andrew grappling with the changing dynamics of his relationship with Sam. As Sam enters adolescence, the once close bond between father and son has started to fray. Andrew, recognizing the growing distance and yearning for a way to reconnect, proposes that they embark on the Camino together. While it's an invitation for adventure, it's also an opportunity for Andrew to impart some life wisdom before Sam fully steps into adulthood. Initially, Sam is not entirely enthused by the idea, but he agrees to go. They begin their journey uneasily, each carrying their own internal struggles along with their backpacks. For Andrew, the Camino is not only a path to strengthen ties with his son, but also a means of confronting his own fears and insecurities, including those surfacing from his past as a troubled youth and his complex family relationships. As they set foot on the well-trodden path of the Camino, they encounter a variety of landscapes and challenges. Each day brings physical rigor as they traverse rolling hills, picturesque villages, and sometimes harsh weather conditions. The act of walking becomes meditative, a rhythm that slowly chips away at the barriers between them. The Camino is a melting pot of cultures and characters, and along the way, Andrew and Sam meet fellow pilgrims from around the world, each with their own stories and personal quests for meaning. Andrew reflects on the communal spirit of the walk, where shared meals and tales become the thread that binds the travelers together. The pilgrimage, by design, forces introspection, and Andrew uses the journey to reflect on the complexities of fatherhood. He contemplates the notion of legacy and the impact of the values and lessons he wishes to pass on to Sam. As they engage with each tradition of the Camino, stamping their pilgrim's passport, placement of stones at Cruz de Ferro, and attending pilgrim's mass, they are drawn into a rhythm that fosters a deeper understanding of themselves and each other. Sam, throughout this shared experience, begins to open up. The physical simplicity of walking and the disconnection from digital devices strip away the distractions of modern life, providing Sam with the space to confront his own questions and thoughts about his future. At times, the journey is arduous and leads to tension. Long days and sore muscles test their patience, revealing the frustrations of clashing personalities and generational differences. Yet, it's within these moments of conflict that the potential for growth and healing emerges. Andrew learns to listen more profoundly to Sam, absorbing his insights and perspectives, while Sam gains a greater appreciation of his father's experiences and vulnerabilities. As they approach the end of the Camino, both father and son grasp the significance of their shared undertaking. They come to understand that the Camino, with all its emotional and physical demands, is a metaphor for life. The road is long, filled with unexpected turns, joys, and hardships, and most profound when shared. Their final steps into Santiago de Compostela are as much a culmination of the miles they've walked as they are a new beginning in their relationship. They have gone beyond merely coexisting. They've mustered empathy, patience, and a renewed sense of camaraderie. The act of completing the Camino together symbolizes not an ending, but a continuity, a shared chapter in their lives that will resonate and inform the bond they share moving forward. In the cathedral, as they witness the grandeur of the Pilgrim's Mass and the swinging of the famous Boda Fumero, there's a profound sense of accomplishment and awe. Both Andrew and Sam partake in the rituals that mark the completion of their pilgrimage, reflecting on the spiritual and personal significance of their experience. In the end, Andrew comes to recognize that his journey with Sam on the Camino has been transformative. It has bridged the gulf that was forming between them and solidified a connection that will endure. He realizes that the lessons of the Camino, of perseverance, reflection, and the power of shared experiences are ones that he and Sam will carry with them long after their walking has ceased. The memoir closes with a reflection on the nature of the bond between father and son. 
a relationship forever altered and strengthened by the hundreds of miles they walked side by side. It's a poignant affirmation that while the footsteps on the Camino are fleeting, the journey they've shared together will resonate through the rest of their lives. Andrew and Sam returned to their daily routines, enriched by the knowledge that their Camino was more than a walk across Spain. It was an essential and transformative passage in their lives. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.